Moyi Coffee did a, recently a taste test that was pretty unusual. Uh, with us is CEO Guido. Guido, uh, what's so unusual about this taste test? Well, the, um, uh, basically our fair chain revolution is, um, is about a, a social revolution, but it's not only about the social revolution, it's also a revolution about taste. Um, what we wanted to do is basically express the uh, the top quality of our uh, uh, of the taste we uh, we bring in our coffees in a unique Dutch way, uh, a bit provocative, but uh, especially avoiding the usual cliches that surround the uh, the taste test. So studies suggest that uh, basically cannabis has an influence on how your taste buds uh, function. We thought let's invite some people that uh, that use cannabis and um, give them uh, some of our coffee and see what happens. And what was the most remarkable result of drinking coffee under the influence? Well, besides the, of course, the funny uh, and uh, also eloquent ways of describing our, uh, our coffees, I was uh, most stunned by the, uh, the international attention we, uh, we got. A friend of mine called me from Brazil, where it was basically front page news. Uh, we were covered by Fasco uh, Design. Uh, we had uh, uh, we, uh, reply from people from Croatia, Spain, Italy, it was just amazing. And what's your, and what's your statement behind it? Well, basically what we try to do is always tap into a relevant topic. Um, in this uh, specific way, yeah, we think that, uh, that Holland is uh, liberal. Um, we have basically um, uh, some kind of, uh, but the, dis the discussion about legalizing cannabis is still very vivid. Uh, recently, even the Christian, former Christian Prime Minister uh, turned sides uh, uh, in this. And what we wanted to do is basically showing that with Colorado and, 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 um, and Oregon um, uh, legalizing cannabis, uh, we are out-liberalized. And uh, this puts, the question, puts us to the question, is uh, Holland still that liberal or are we changing? Sounds really interesting, but aren't you afraid that people are thinking that you have to drink this coffee with a joint? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, I think people uh, <laughs> understand that uh, we, we don't take stands, we don't, we're not in for or against, it's just a playfully provocative way of yeah, putting something to the... Uh, to the and is this, this also the, the way, uh, the philosophy behind Moji Coffee? Well, in a way it is, because last year we had this, uh, basically every now and then we do something uh, which we call a performance just for the heck of it, but there is always uh, 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 something attached that links to our fair chain philosophy. And last year we did our version of the crazy ones, where we basically uh, put people like Snowden and, and, and Ines Shoshenko from Femin uh, gave her the sp spotlights. Um, because these people, yeah, they, they try to, uh, to fight for change, uh, fight the orthodoxy, and they fight for their beliefs. Like we are uh, trying to uh, uh, cause some radical changes uh, uh, as well. Our fair chain philosophy is also about uh, radical change. So yes, change, challenging the, uh, the status quo, uh, starting discussions, that's part of our brand. Thank you so much, Guido. Keep up the good work. For more information, go to interconnection.com and check out this amazing video on the internet.